What's going on guys? I'm Alex from Avid Tech and we're back with another video. Today, we're gonna to be diving straight into the automobile industry where we're gonna be taking a focus on the EVs or the electric vehicles of the world. Now we've seen within the next 10 years, a lot of car companies have promised or guaranteed that they are going to have majority of their vehicles be electric. Uh, so they're kind of going away from the gas uh, industry, which has its positives and negatives. That's for another video. We've got obvious companies that we know every day, Nissan, BMW, Chevrolet, Toyota, etc., that have created their EVs already. Um, we're piggybacking off of a similar EV that they've had in the past and just making it fully electric, and, you know, talking about your hybrids there. But today we're gonna to be focused on companies that you may have not heard of, um, and one in particular, and it's gonna be Faraday. Let's get into it. Now, Faraday first unveiled their EV back in 2017. The name of it was called the FF91, which to me sounds more like a plane, but nevertheless, it was supposed to be a front runner in the industry. Their concepts for the interior and the exterior were both creative and innovative for the electric industry. Now, anytime we talk about EVs, we always talk about performance uh, because, well, frankly, they just outdo any gas cars uh, from standstill or zero to 60, whatever the case is, quarter mile um, in terms of speed and power. Uh, so that doesn't change in the Faraday FF91. Faraday claimed that the FF91 came with about 1,050 horsepower and a sub 25 zero to 60 mile per hour time, um, which at that time, 2017, which would make it probably the fastest or not the second fastest uh, EV vehicle um, that would be to date. Also can't forget to mention the 380 miles per charge that it does take. So you can pretty much go anywhere day to day. Um, it's gonna get you there um, both fast and efficient. So those are all the positives of Faraday of what they've claimed to be. Obviously we haven't really seen much um, of it in kind of real time, real life, um, in terms of the speeds and the performance of the vehicle. Um, but we've mainly seen concepts uh, for the most part. But um, now to the downsides. The negatives of it, obviously there is no mass production. Um, so, I mean, they haven't had any mass production since the unveiling of 2017. Um, now in 2022, they did announce that they would begin production in this year, uh, 2023, which is why we're making this video, because I think it's very, very interesting and very, very, uh, it's going to come to light here about Faraday's FF91 to see if it can rival, obviously, the strong competitor in Tesla. Um, and then obviously Rivian, who's making a push as well. So um, we're going to see if they're going to you know, produce enough to uh, be a consumer style vehicle. That takes me to price here in a second, but um, just in terms of to see if those numbers actually uh, perform. Yeah, now, so finally to the price of the Faraday FF91, it was said that it would start at around the $200,000 mark, uh, which for a lot of people, that's not a consumable vehicle. Uh, but if they were to come out with an FF91 and then another uh, consumable product that's similar um, to it in terms of design, um, and obviously the numbers and specs would be a little bit different in terms of horsepower and maybe estimated mileage range uh, with the battery, but um, you could possibly get a, a cheaper vehicle. I, I can maybe see them making a something that's between you know 90 and 120. Um, that would be a little bit cheaper for, for those that wanted to get into the EV luxury world. So overall, if you're looking at the electric luxury market uh, for vehicles for the future, uh, Faraday is, I think, is going to be a, a leader in that category once they are able to get production and get those on the street and people are able to really drive them, review them, and, and kind of test them out. Um, I do think, based on the concepts, I mean, technology-wise, it's going to be pretty much ahead of anybody that I've seen so far. Um, and then, obviously, you just got the luxury feel as well uh, with the seats and the technology inside. Um, the cabin. So definitely interested to see this Faraday FF91 um, come to life uh, against the, especially the Tesla, Rivian, other stuff like that, other cars like that. Um, I think the Lucid Air will probably be a close match in terms of its luxury feel inside the cabin, um, but I think Tesla will probably be its most competitor in terms of performance. Obviously, we'll see later down the line. Let me know what you guys think as well about the pricing or about the model of the FF91. Obviously, the concept images that we've seen um, so far. So let me see. Let me know if you like the design. Let me know if you like the performance numbers. Do you think they'll stack up in real life once people actually get the chance to test them in production um, and, and so on? So uh, comment down below. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit different uh, video. I'm, I'm thinking about starting a series on this where we just talk about EV companies um, that you know are kind of lower on the radar. Everybody knows Tesla, Rivian's starting to get their name up there. So 
Um, you know, we're starting to talk about a lot of EVs because it's coming. It is coming sooner than we think. So um, let me know what you think about uh, EVs and what's your favorite company uh, down below in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.